Hello and welcome to the 48th turn of the Ravanian campaign of 4th Age Total War Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. I am Wombat, or Wombat as you please. We are now in turn 52, and I'm um, getting to the point where I'm going to have to start dealing with uh, these Bjorning hordes, but I'm rather trepidatious about what I'm going to be doing there, so holding off on that for now. There are a few other things I can do in the meantime. And uh, one of those is going to be, well, laying siege to Moslod, certainly. So let's go ahead and do that. Set this to very high taxes. Anything else we can destroy here? That can get destroyed. You guys can go. Harbor. Drinking. And market. All right. Can we get a ceasefire, please? There we go, that's nice. What else do we want from you? What if we were to give you map information? What would you give us back? Trade rights? Hmm. Can't actually trade with you yet, so not looking for that. Uh, there isn't enough to do. I don't want to have to fight the stack. Boogers. Can I recruit somebody over here? Nope. Bummers. What's going on over here? It's all shadow cultish. Why is unrest so high? Ah, unrest is going to get worse because the settlement is growing. Hmm. There won't be anything I can do about it, too. I'm going to have to actually get more garrison troops over there. Um, who do I have? Guess I can send one of these guys over there. Leaving the army. March. No more moves. Start. Yes, Captain. Sir. Forward. There we go. Uh, this this one's getting worse too, I think, probably for the same reasons. But I think it'll be okay long enough for me to c finish these control posts and just build some native garrison units. These guys keep moving in and out. Not terribly important. I think... Men of Mordor? Are they a... Uh, not sure if they're a type of mercenary or not. I think not. I think they're like a regional troop or something. Okay, you can get some more experience. Aw, oh, dude. Killing off my scouts, that's not cool. For 
just going to have to build more scouts. You're not getting skill. You have to build some more scouts. Okay, well, nothing else I can do here. I'm just going to start moving troops around for the time being. Oh, I can get some of these guys. They're quite useful. Okay, this is a guy that needs to go back and become a governor. So he goes there for now. Go ahead and build um, another flotilla just to get him over, over there more quickly. Emissaries down here. He can negotiate with this Bjorning emissary. What are you able to do? Dude, I'm having horrible luck with my spies. Okay, who can be retrained? You can. You needed to be trained back there. Okay, you can get retrained. No, and you need to be trained back here. You here. There we go. Build a scout. I'm not sure what this guy is trying to do, but I'm kind of want to leave him alone until he's attacked a settlement like Arab Gobel, because it's just a lot easier to take them out when you've got the resources of uh, static defenses. Orders. Don't understand why he didn't just besiege Arab Gobel already. <sighs> Theoretically I have enough forces in the area that I could just attack him. Should have had a spy come up here. Uh, 
Captain. Captain. I feel like I definitely want this cavalry involved in this battle. And there's some understrength units here that I won't need to involve in the battle. Okay, well let's get this started then. Um, we'll attack from here. Get these guys in the battle. Get this governor in the battle. And this one. Okay, the rest needs to be ranged Captain. units. Sir. Captain. Yes, Captain. Yeah, well, don't have too many ranged units, so it'll have to be these guys. The army. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, let's save. Let's see how we fare against the Bjornings. Woodman axes, very little range support, lots of cavalry. Huh, makes me feel like I sh should have more range support on my end. Because they're relatively low experience for the most part. I wonder if these woodman bows are a type of mercenary. Weird that they would have so much experience. Ah, don't feel good about this. Well, I'm attacking. So as long as I have at least even, um, at least even strength ratio to them, they'll probably, oh crap, I think they probably have bonus to fighting in the snow. And it's all wooded as hell. Why is it so wooded here? I'm in an open plain area. Hate woods. Woods really make it difficult when you're trying to use ranged attacks. Let's see. It's relatively open on this side. I have to try and rush over there. Okay, so you guys can go here, you guys can go here. Okay, let's see where they've positioned themselves. Hmm. Not awful. So I can attack from this angle. Everybody's going to be exposed out of the woods. It's not bad at all. Problem is, they've got so much cavalry. I'll have to just charge down at my line, and that would suck. Okay, well, let's get our guys into position. Pretty, pretty 
impressive range superiority, even though they only have the one ranged unit. He's at the top of this mountain. He's going to outrange my guys by quite a lot. It's going to be real difficult for them to, to convince them to come out. They just didn't have that one unit. It'll be a lot easier to manipulate the AI. What if I could convince them to give up the high ground just by maneuvering my troops around them? I'd be pretty, pretty impressed with myself if I managed to do that. These snow effects are messing my frame rates. Wow, I think I might actually be able to do just that. Set this up a little more nuanced. Let's see. Damn, that's such a pathetically low number of bowmen. Let's have you guys sort of line up here. should do with all of my ranged units is get them to have a loose formation. Why are these guys out of position? Hmm. Not working as well as I had hoped. Okay, let's get these guys. Just a little bit more spread out. I'm going to separate out my, um, my cavalry, place them over here. Maybe by separating up my units I can get the AI to act a little differently. what's going on here. These guys are coming forward. They may be preparing to shoot at my men. Let's bring these cavalry closer.
Up, up, up. Are these guys getting ready to shoot at somebody? The cavalry should be in range of them, actually. Bring them down a little bit more. Okay. Just need you guys to come up to the crest of the hill and commence firing. Okay, time to get our cavalry moving. And if I keep moving my troops around, it may have the effect of uh, deterring them from taking their own initiative. Seems like a lot of my ammunition is not really landing, probably on account of the contours here. Looks like a lot of these uh, woodmen are getting in the way. Okay, I can keep moving my horsemen around here, keep them changing their um, formations so that my uh, range units can do their work. Once I completely eliminate these woodman, uh, woodman bows, I'll be in a good position to control this battle very effectively. Then I can pick up all other horsemen, I would hope. And then take out the rest of them with little effort, little risk at least. Okay, doing a good job taking out the bowmen here. Oh, 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 oh. Riders. Okay, I thought somebody was getting close to my uh, horsemen, but I seem to be doing all right. Let's continue to maneuver these guys to keep the enemy guessing. Guys don't need to be charging at me. Okay, I'm gonna have to concentrate and fire on these cavalry units now. Actually, ooh, the Bjorning bodyguard. That's going to be the big deal. Forward! 
Okay, so this back line needs to come up. And these range units need to come back. And my cavalry should be able to just make a straight charge into the flank here. Okay, they've stopped their charge, that's good. Okay, so I can pull back again. Don't need to commit to any battles yet. Very nice so far. That uh, gigantic charge of my own cavalry seemed to have made them rethink their ideas there. But this is a weird phenomenon here with these longbowmen, how they move so far behind my other uh, bowmen. Maybe it's because they just are wearing heavier armor. That's why they react like that. Curious. Okay, so who's in place? Let's go ahead and make these guys their own group. Okay, let's take out this heavy guard. Yeah, I've witnessed that heavy guard. I think it was in my, uh, when I played the dwarves, that heavy guard, if you let them get close to you, they can inflict some damage. But fortunately, they have very little armor, no shields, it means you can take them out with ranged attacks pretty easily. There we go. Oh, another heavy guard unit. Okay, got to make sure I have the ammo, ammo to take them out. Okay. Let's see if I can get some of these horsemen that are down here. Don't like having to shoot through the trees. Mm, isn't working out so well. Okay, um, let's see if I can get a line on these horsemen. Oh. Okay, you guys go here.
Okay, looks like they're trying to quit the field at this point. Mob of Horsemen does an amazingly good job. Okay, well, here's the Bjornings have paper armies. Though I'm confident, you know, my own skill played some part in it. Why have you stopped? Kill them. understand why these guys keep stopping at attacking. Are they just busy celebrating stuff? Losers. Okay, that's probably enough. Satisfactory. Big blob of horsemen. Quite effective. Okay. So I think the Bjorning is actually going to be a pretty easy win here. That should make a uh, a good protectorate soon enough. Often does hatred hurt itself. Quote from Gandalf the White. Oh, Mr. Bjorning, you are not getting off that easily. Victory indeed. Okay, you go back in here. March. Onward. Start. Captain. Orders. You go here. Orders. Start. Mm hmm. Can't quite get to him. It's fine. So you go here, see if we can get any recruits. Nope. Leave it there for now. Who can't go very far? This one, this one, this one. So, how should I pursue this? I could just build a fort here. Or thereabouts, somewhere where there's a choke point. Let the burnings beat their head against it while I bring um, a big stack up through Langwijk to attack these settlements. Now we just have the two here. That makes sense, but it also means keeping my forces separated, and the burnings aren't likely to attack through Langwijk. But if I encounter many Bjorning forces, especially large stacks coming through here, 
And why don't I have eyes in here? Go look. If I did encounter any large stacks, this could be a really difficult place to fight them. Oh, look at that, all their, most of their cavalry survived. How did this nobleman survive? I was sure I destroyed both nobleman units utterly. That is really curious. So, once I've captured Holt, I'm going to need to build a camp here, and then along this route. So it's going to be three units devoted to patrolling that area. You need to be retrained. I'll send you in here. I'm pretty happy with the level of training on the other units. Let's see, what do we have down here? They're being retrained. Okay, that looks good. Did I save after that battle? I forget now. Go ahead and save again. And no longer at war. Okay. What's going on over here? So they're sending another stack over to attack Arabost. I'm gonna need uh, some units to defend there. Maybe send this stack south, and this guy can keep going west. Let's do that. There we go. I hate that these bastards keep killing my agents. Um, do we have a scout training here? We do. That's good. Could probably train a scout here as well. Oh, I've already got more about training. That's fine. Okay, I definitely got at least one more emissary that I really need in this area. I'll send this emissary back to where I could use some other eyes. Let's see if I have any more spies that need to be moved around. Looking for those 93 percentile chances. That's the sweet spot for getting your spies trained. Admittedly, not quite as good as 100%. Oh, there we go. Got another advance there. You've already done stuff. You've done stuff.
Oh, I should probably get my scouts out of the settlement in case it does get besieged. Bring them up here to get some eyes around here. Your spies are in a settlement when it be gets besieged and taken. You can lose those spies. Send you somewhere where you can be more useful, actually. I'll just leave you there, they're fine. Ah, you need to be moved. You can go up there. Okay, it looks like everything I can do this turn. Let's see what happened next turn. Should take a look around the map again. Have a look to see what, what's going on in other areas for a while. Oh, look at that. Northroom seems to be taking the fight to uh, Dale again. Making very good amounts of money now, just on my own. I don't know how I've surpassed Reunited Kingdom in advancement considering they haven't really acquired any areas that are underdeveloped yet. Where did this guy show up? Dwarven. Okay. I may have enough people in this area to squish him. Alright, mid -debing. can we do anything else to increase your population growth? Just, uh... Trader, I guess. Feasts. Let's see, that'll increase it by 0.5%. And feasts will increase it by 0.5%. So I'll go with the cheaper option for now. Rathwin. Fish markets, I um, believe that increases population growth. That is correct. So I'll go with that. You'll notice I don't really increase my walls very often. Um, so there isn't any uh, economic benefit to doing so. And typically, if you play your strategic game well enough, you uh, the extra turns they give you in a siege to withstand a siege aren't really useful for the most part. Where did you come from? He must have been sent over there after he fought and lost a battle, maybe. It's weird that he's way over there. Okay, once um, Finisterim revolts, uh, I can try to get a peace settlement with um, Rune again. Okay, most of these guys can be sent over here. Oops. 
Not that many, apparently. Hmm. So if we go for growth, I'm gonna have to leave somebody here. So I'll leave these guys here. Oh, he's got a champion. Nice. Okay. Competent governor. Oh, I need to remember my discipline here. Save. Okay, you go in there. Actually, let's go ahead and give you these fellows. Give that settlement on the island a proper garrison. And then I can build some more. There we go, spearmen here. See if any of my settlements are getting too too upset. Austin Argolot, ooh, nasty. Why that sudden jump? That's a big jump. It's a really big jump. Where is that coming from? There must be some spies in here, I would have to guess. Hmm. Well. Let's look at potentially moving my capital back. my capital all the way back here does the trick. I don't know if that's what I want to do. That also does the trick and causes less corruption. So let's see if that's going to work for us. Just about works over here. Yeah, that was a good call. My spies would have been trapped in there and killed when it was taken. Oh, where can they spy on stuff? It's nowhere useful. I like how he's just waiting out for the siege forever, despite the fact that... I mean, how is this not revolting? There's no signs of peasant descent when there's 0% public order. That's peculiar. These ships don't have a port anymore, except over here. Okay. Okay, so the next thing to do here is destroy this little stack and then besiege Holt. Probably destroy that little stack with this little stack. Maybe some help from some of my friends. What do we have in Holt? Just five units, so I can just besiege that settlement with, say, five or just to be safe, maybe eight units of my own. I suspect these guys... Oh, shoot, he's not supposed to be in the stack. Oh, yeah, he's going to be taking... He's going to be uh, going into Holt. Can I recruit anybody around here? 
please. Pretty please. Need your crew people, please. What about here? No, what about here? No. Okay, well, don't want to get into a battle here because uh, too near the end of the episode, so I'll just uh, call this the episode. This will conclude the 48th episode of the Aravanian Campaign for Fourth Age Total War, Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War, Barbarian Invasion, comprising turns 52.2 through 53.2. I have been Wombat, or Wambat, as you please. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and tune in again next week for the next episode.